Hello, welcome to another New Music Monday. I've had the total privilege the last couple of weeks of teaching a class in our Nitty Boat program where some amazing teen musicians spent the time learning about what makes Jewish music, how does it make them feel, what's good about it, what makes us eh, not feel so great sometimes about it, and then making their own music. They spent some time pouring through our liturgy and came upon a really interesting passage in a prayer called Nishmat Kol Chai, where basically the translation that they read was, and all hearts will fear God and our very innards will praise you. And they looked at this and they were like, whoa, what is this dark Torah going on? It was the first moment they learned that actually sometimes in our tradition, in the Torah, even our blessings, our God is sometimes a scary God, a, 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 a vengeful and a fearful God. And we spent some more time over those weeks exploring different Jewish texts that teach us about how sometimes God can be scary. Sometimes we praise God in ways that sound scary. Our very innards will praise you. But in a way, what's, what's so different about the feeling you get in your body when you're fearful and when you're excited? Those butterflies in your stomach, they kind of are pretty similar one way or the other. And while it's really a difficult question to answer, how do we feel about God in the course of three weeks? These students spent their time writing some music together to explore those feelings. And so what they came up with was a three-part series of mixture of improvisation, lyrics, and, and some assistance from other musicians to exemplify the feelings they, they went through during the course of their class. They started with joy. They were excited. They, they had fun the whole time. And that joy reflected, you know, the happy feelings they get about coming to the temple that they get when they were thinking about God. It moved into the second piece, awe. This idea that they're, they're getting closer to God. They're approaching like the true nature of what studying and understanding God can be about. And then they moved into fear. This dark Torah, as they kept calling it, left them feeling uncomfortable, left them feeling like we were setting them up with a God who wanted bad things to happen to them, who would say things like, if you betray me, if you do wrong against my commandments, I will destroy your fields. I, I will end your bloodlines. Like really big, scary things and big, scary consequences for little mistakes as they saw them. And this is, a, this is a true and fair feeling that they went through. So in that final fear piece, what became most apparent was that we don't have all the answers to give them as, as teachers, as students themselves to explore them. And so it ends on a dark and, and scary note because sometimes that's just the way we feel and that's okay. We didn't want to write music that didn't feel genuine to the way we're experiencing life right now and the way they're going through teenagehood. So joy to awe to fear, it, it might seem a little daunting, but that's the world they're inhabiting right now. And of course, we ended with a little blooper reel because the reality is that at the end of the day, they were still having fun. They still returned back to that joy and they deserve to. They're kids. They should not be in a constant fear of a vengeful God. The good thing is that that same God, like I said, when you return to God, as God says in Deuteronomy often, if you choose to follow and fulfill all of my commandments, you will be blessed forever and ever. And so, yes, huge emotional swings from joy to fear with awe in between and uncertainty. But at the end of the day, they're teenagers they, they experience these emotions all over the place, and that's, that's fair, that's valid, that's normal. We all do, as adults, as kids, as teens, and we'll let the, the music and the words speak for themselves the rest of the way.